All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We already crushed a 7K subscriber goal, so we are going to update that board here for you guys. Look at Joe Burrow looking at all these nice, tasty giveaways. We have the 8K sub jersey giveaway. We have the 9K sub sports memorabilia giveaway. 10K subs, the big one, $1,000 giveaway, and the 12K subs. We're going to send a couple people to a game of their choice. Guys, we are very excited for the football season, but no more talking. Let's get right into this video, Trey. All right, guys, let's get some MLB picks and props for Monday, October 23rd, slate of games. Let's take a look at that leaderboard first, Trey. Start us off. Yeah, I'm currently 1-0 at the moment. That's because I gave out the Texas Rangers plus a half on the first five-inning red line versus the Astros. And the Rangers, they won the first five by a score of 3-1. to one. So that felt really great. Yeah, and I am also 1-0. I had the Rangers on the money line in the first five, and then I have the Rangers uh, in the game on the money line. So hopefully they do hold out. Currently 3-2 to in the top of the seventh. So hopefully we do sweep the board in the MLB for the game picks. But let's take a look at the pick for tomorrow. We have one game. It's going to be the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Arizona Diamondbacks in game six. The Phillies are minus 184 on the money line. The over-under is eight runs. How do you start, Trey? Yeah, this game's going to be very fun to watch, but I feel like it's also going to be very sad at the same time. And that's because the Phillies, they are going to win this game and close out the Diamondbacks season. But the money line is just way too juiced, and I'm always way too nervous to take the minus one and a half runs because it's playoff baseball, and usually these games are pretty close. So instead, I'm just going to take the Diamondbacks under team total in this game. It's under three and a half. It is minus 130, so it is a little bit juiced, but I think it is pretty warranted because the Philadelphia Phillies, they're throwing out their ace in this game in Aaron Nola. And Nola, he has been absolutely elite this postseason because Nola, he's pitched an 18 and two third innings so far. And he's only allowed two runs on 12 hits and two walks. That comes out to a 3 0 record with a 0 0.96 ERA paired with a 0 0.75 whip. And Nola, he's simply been elite this postseason. And I think the Diamondbacks are going to struggle in Philly just like they have been all postseason because in game one and game two, they hit the under in both those games because they averaged only one and a half runs per game in game one and game two. And I think that's going to continue here. So give me the Arizona Diamondbacks to score under their three and a half team total against the Phillies. Uh, yeah, Trey, uh, I'm going to take the, I really want to take the Phillies on the money line, like you said, but I'm going to take the Arizona Diamondbacks plus one and a half at minus 135. It's lose and go home for the Diamondbacks. And while I think the Philadelphia Phillies are probably going to win this game, it should be a close contest. Both teams are getting really good pitchers on the mound. The Phillies are going to throw out Aaron Nola. The D-backs are throwing out Merrill Kelly. This just feels like it's going to be a one-score game. The Phillies at home have not lost in the postseason. They probably won't lose this game either, but I do think the D-backs are going to fight till the end. The Phillies have the dream scenario of two home games to close the series and then go to the World Series. But I do think the Diamondbacks give them a scare here. So I'm going to take them plus one and a half as my play. I just don't want the series to end, honestly. I want I want a game seven. Both these teams are really good, but Philly at the bank, probably not going to lose. So I'm going to take the plus one and a half runs. Let's move on to the player prop. So Trey, start us off. Yeah, and I'm currently zero for zero at the moment. That's because I gave out Corey Seager over seven and a half fantasy score against the Astros and Seager. He's currently 0 for three, but I do have faith in him to knock a double, get an RBI and score a run and get us to over that seven and a half fantasy score number. Yeah, and then I have Jose Altuve over 1.5 bases currently just has a single in the game. He's probably going to get one, maybe two more at-bats, so hopefully we do get that as well. But hopefully we're getting the sweep still here, Trey. So let's move on to our plays for tomorrow, though. Y'all, you start us off. Yeah, I'm going to go with a play that I'm surprised is out because this is pretty low. Give me Kyle Schwarber over a half total base against the Diamondbacks. I'm going to probably be the sucker here taking this bet that Price picks his offering, but it honestly just doesn't make any sense why this is out because Schwarber, he has been crushing balls this series because he's coming into this game averaging 4.6 total bases per game against the Diamondbacks. And with him being placed squarely at the top of the Phillies batting lineup, I feel like we're at least going to get four, maybe five chances to hit the over with this number. And the odds, they are stacked slightly against this, though, because Kyle, he comes this game with seven at-bats against Merrill Kelly, and he's one for seven against him. But hey, who says that we're not going to get that one in this game? That's all we need is just one base hit from the guy. And I love our chances for him just to smack a hit in this game. And with this game being in Philly, I feel like Schwarber, he's going to be juiced in this game. So give me Kyle Schwarber to go over a half total base against the Diamondbacks. Yeah, Trey, for my play, I'm going to take a page out of your book. I'm going to take Bryce Harper to have a walk against the Diamondbacks. If you guys have been watching the games, you would know that Bryce Harper has been the best player for the Philadelphia Phillies in the postseason. He isn't the best hitter right now. He's definitely not the best fielder right now, but he's doing everything right. And he's making the biggest impact in the series. He's making the hustle plays. He's not forcing errors on first base, and he's getting on base a lot in the postseason. He has reached base in every single game so far in the postseason, and he's drawn a walk in all but two of the games so far in the postseason. 
And this game is going up against Merrill Kelly, who's been giving up a lot of walks over the last couple of games and on the year in general. He has 69 walks on the year and has already walked three Phillies batter in the first start of the series. One of those three walks in the first start did come against Bryce Harper. He, he drew a walk against Merrill Kelly. I expect him to get another walk in this game. So give me Bryce Harper to draw a walk as my play. Trey, why don't you throw up that graph before we get out of here? Yeah, I gave out the Diamondbacks under three and a half team total against the Phillies. I feel like Aaron Nola is just going to pitch a gym of game here. There's no way he does not pitch into the seventh inning in this game. And then also gave out Kyle Schwarber over a half total base against the same Diamondbacks team. He's going to get a lot of cracks at this. This may be a sucker bet, but, you know, pass me that lollipop. Yeah, and I'm going to take the D-backs plus one and a half. Hopefully it's a competitive game. And I'm going to take Bryce Harper over a half a walks as he's drawn a lot of walks in the postseason so far. But, guys, that's going to do it. For our LB player props and game picks for Monday, October 23rd, Slate of Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 